Hey everybody, Danny Rod here. Thanks for joining us. This week, I want to strip the golf swing back to its bare essentials. What three things could you do right now that could make a dramatic change to your golf swing? Maybe you're finding that, maybe you feel like you've lost your swing. Maybe there's so much advice out there. Where do you start? Well, this week's very interesting because my wife, after 20 years, has decided that she wants to pick up golf for the first time. So we had our very first lesson. And what was really interesting is when we started, she kind of didn't start very well. You know, just like most people who have been playing for years, she looked very uncoordinated. She had a very wristy swing with this club head waving around, almost impossible to get consistent strike and, and, and squareness of face. Not only that, she was moving her body around left and right all over the place. And the question is, how do I get somebody like that playing and swinging kind of well without clotting their head full of stuff? Well, in this week's training, I get, I'm going to give you the three things that I gave Laura. And I know that whether you're a beginner golfer or somebody who's kind of just wants something simple to improve their swing, this week's training will be really, really useful. So before we get into it though, if you're new to the channel and this is one of your first videos, consider subscribing. If you press that little bell button next to the subscribe button, you get content like this every single week so I can come and help you improve your game. So where did we start with Laura first and how could you start? Well, the very first thing is clearly set up. Like a lot of people, when Laura started, she kind of wasn't realizing that this was a sport. So the first thing we've got to do is get into, very simple, into a nice athletic position initially. So what I did was, a, I played this little game, we've used this before if, you, if you're um, regular to the channel, is imagine you're getting yourself set up here and you're coming at me and you're getting, and I'm going to come at you and you're going to brace yourself. So you're getting yourself ready. That's the first thing. You've got to get this athleticism here. We're not stood up like this. You know, you're ready, I'm gonna come at you and you're gonna stop me, yeah? So the first thing is we want to have athleticism. Checkpoints that you wanna look for in this uh, situation here, uh, if you hang a club down from your armpit here, it kinda of wants to be running through the front part of your knee down into the balls of your feet. And you wanna feel like your shins here are angled forward. So there's just simply an athleticism to what you're doing, that is it. So the first thing we did with Laura is simply get her into a nice athletic position. Did that make a change? Not really, but it gave us a, a, a starting point and it's where you, anyone should start to play golf. Very few people when they come to see me ever set up in this athletic position. They wanna be more powerful, they wanna be more consistent, but they just can't until they get there. So that's for, uh, step number one. Number two, we then said, look, when she started, she simply just swung with her arms. And what was happening here is, is these shoulders are moving a lot. I see this a lot, but nothing's moving around here. So I, I talked to her about moving the core and what have you, but you know what? None of that really seemed to work either. So I thought, well, what do we do? How do we get this swing more coordinated? Now, why do we want to be more coordinated? Well, if you're swinging with your arms like this, you can see here, there's no real power. So you lose power. The other thing is, is if the club's waving around a lot like this, it's opening and closing a lot. So it's very difficult to get that club back to square or straight so you can hit those lovely straight shots. So what we want to achieve is a more controlled motion where look at that, that face of the club now is what we call more stable. It's not wafting around all over the place. So what I want you to do is imagine this. I want you to work out, we've got to work out how are we going to get this lovely coordinated motion. How could you go about doing this? With Laura, what I did was this. I actually got her to move the feet. So I got her to say, okay, right, what I want you to do now, Laura, I want you to make a swing. I want you to move the feet. But as you're doing this, I want you to stay very centered here. So like a lot of people, she starts to move backwards and forwards, yeah? Now we don't want that. We want to stay nice and center. So she started to move backwards and forwards. And because now her hips are moving, her tummy moves. Because her tummy moves, her shoulders move. Now look at this. Now the swing is more coordinated. When her feet were just planted to the deck, this was frozen, the midriff was frozen, and all she was doing was making a shoulder motion. This is, I see this a lot. If you find that you get stuck inside a lot, this is often the reason. The arms are working a hell of a lot. None of this midriff's working. Great for senior golfers, this as well. Great for people who need 
that extra bit of flexibility, but you've got to get that core working. So we've got her in a balanced position. We've got her just pivoting backwards and forwards. She said, it's like freaky, uh, shaky Stevens, but we're just moving backwards and forwards, staying very centered. But as she was doing this, the club is still wafting around. So we're getting progress, but we're not really kind of getting any, at this stage, any improvements in the strike. So she's getting the freedom. We're getting some coordination now in the actual golf swing. We've got some athleticism in the posture, but this club is still wafting. She's got coordination, but the club's all over the place. Move on to stage number three. Now, this wasn't something that we came up with straight away. It took a while. So we want, again, learning to strip the swing down to its bare essentials is quite tricky. So I then said, right, okay, what I want you to do now is this. I want you to clench your fists. I want you to put your thumbs up here. Okay, so you're, you're bending forward. And then what we're gonna do is this. I want you to make that uh, hip movement and I want you to get your thumbs now parallel with your spine angle here. So we're gonna do one, two. And what we're gonna do, we're move backwards and forwards now, keeping those arms and the thumbs parallel with the spine angle. Now look at this. They're very close to each other all the time backwards and forwards. Now look, look at how much more coordinated this is. And now suddenly the club isn't waving around anymore. She's now getting the sensation of this wonderfully coordinated motion. Now, when we first started it, she'd still move a bit side to side. So we said, just keep imagining your center line here. Okay. So then she started to feel like her core was working as well. So now we go. So we've got that motion going backwards and forwards. I then said, take the club same principle take it in your strongest hand so she's right-handed you could if you're if you play golf right-handed but your strongest hand's left-handed you can do it in your left but take the club now in your strongest hand mine's my right i'm going to put my thumb up here cleanse my fist get into that nice athletic balanced position and then what we're going to do is this we're going to then pivot the body backwards and forwards here with the hips keeping the thumbs like there and there now notice this it's just a very small swing at this stage Okay, we're learning to get their coordination backwards and forwards. I then said, okay, well, let's peg a ball upon a tee. So let's imagine that now. So what you're going to do is you're going to start the swing with, your, with those feet backwards and forwards, just imagining those thumbs up here and here. So one, two. Now, we've got ourselves set. Small little swing. One, two. No real big hits at this stage, just tapping it forward, okay? Just literally chipping it. All we're trying to do is get the sensation of this movement. So pivot to the right, pivot to the left. There's no strikes at this stage. It's just literally getting a sensation of the body moving right, left, nothing fancy. But she's going away, and Laura's a little bit impatient. She wants to smash the ball. So we... And most people want to hit it a bit further, don't they, right? So how do you then, from that position, start to build it up? Well, we said, right, from here, what we're going to do is this. She's got the body moving. She's got the hips moving. Her body's starting to coordinate now. The final bit here in the piece of jigsaw is from there. She simply moves the thumbs up to a 45-degree position here. So it's here, parallel with the spine, 45. Now, the mistake she made earlier, she went here and went and lifted. That's not what we're after. We're simply going to get to here and move the thumbs to 45. And that then simply creates the extra bit of power because suddenly when she gets to here, all it is then is that. Okay. So that was the final piece of the jigsaw here. And suddenly we started to see this more coordinated, powerful swing. Now let's show you how we gradually built this up. So we've got our posture in place. We've got the legs pivoting here. This is the summary. So we've got the legs pivoting. That gets the core working, but we've got to get those hands more coordinated. Thumbs up here. One, two, one, two. You could go one, two, three. One, two, three. This will get you feeling what's going with the hands. And then bit by bit, we said, don't be perfect now. Don't have to be perfect. If you want to start small, start there. Move those feet, feel that coordination. One, two, and away we go. One, two, and away we go. 
what you've got to remember, most people who are struggling at this game, they just stay too still. So in golf, we need this balance between control, yes, but also mobility. Most people are literally like this. They're rock solid, they've got maximum control, but they've got no control of the ball because they just still is too stiff and too, too still. Then like Laura, you've got somebody who's out of control, just moving around all over the place. You need to marry those two things together so you have control and dynamism all in one. So we've got the balance, you've got the freedom of the core, you free up this core, you then free up coordination. Finally, you've got the club, control of this club here with the thumbs always matching the spine, backwards and forwards like this. Flick the, uh, the thumbs now to 45, back into position here, back to square, and then through, and then away you go. That was session one. We're gonna share more of Laura's progress, probably live actually on camera at some stage, but these are the three fundamentals that would really get your game going. Simple as that. Hope you enjoyed the training. If you did, give it a thumbs up, maybe share it with somebody else, and maybe share it with a few beginners who are looking at getting started. Of course, if you're new to the channel, Come and subscribe so I can see you next week. But until next week, have a great golfing week.